Hello, welcome to HTML5 Tutorials, Chapter 4, HTML5 Form Input Type, Part 1, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the form input type of HTML5. So, WebForms 2.0 is an extension to the forms feature found in HTML4. And HTML5 it introduced many new form elements, input types, attributes, and extra features to creative and initiative and useful form consistent across the web browser. And it has also bought the new features like placeholder, required, and pattern, along with the new pseudo class selectors of input types, which makes the developer more productive in making the responsive web form. And Coming to the validation, validation part, the browser validation provides more advantage in saving time for maintaining consistency across different web browsers. And there is no necessity of writing the separate JS snippet okay, for the validation and this significantly, significantly reduce the page load time. Okay, this is the new things like what the HTML5 form has brought in. Okay, now without wasting much time, let us learn the new input types which are present in HTML5. Okay, uh, here we have around uh, 3, 3 to 6, and 9, 11, 12. So we have 12 new types brought to the input element. Okay, right now we are going to concentrate only on these things which are present in the first pane, and these things we are going to see in the next session. Okay, the first input type is color. Okay, here comes the input type color. So the color input tag provides the facility to get the color value from the user. Okay, the color type gets RGB color with the 8 bit red, green, and blue components through color well. Example, this is the exa code, and default by default, um, the selected color would be black. Now, what I'll do is now I'll jump, jump to my Visual Studio code and I'll make I'll write an input control with the type color. And as I said, you the default color it will be black. So, with the help of JavaScript, let us fetch the default color what it is present there. So it's very simple. So let me jump into Visual Studio Code, and here is my Visual Studio Code, and I have a body tag. So first, let me add a break line such that the input control moves down. So let me come down. Input type, it's color. Okay. Uh, let me send, send like select your color. Okay, you control us, and now let me push this push this page to the browser. So uh, let me navigate to the folder where I have saved it, and it comes here in the jQuery. Sorry, it's in the HTML5, and it's here. So when I double click on that, it pushes this page to the browser, and my default browser is Chrome, and here comes the Chrome. Okay, with select your color now you can observe the select your color the default color is black when I click on that it brings a menu okay the color menu where you can mix the colors or you can give the use saturation light value or RGB value okay but keep in mind the default value it will selected is color that is black so what I need to do is I'll add a button here when I click on the button with the help of JavaScript function I need to fetch the color value that is exa code value of the of the particular color so how do I do that so what I'll do is let me add a break line okay it's not necessary let me add a script tag in the script tag let me tell like okay um, before that what I'll do is let me add a break line here and let me add input type is button and let me add a id telling like it's my button okay now what i'll do is uh, let me take uh, input let me take a do element with the id as my diff okay now what I'll do is let me go back and okay let me assign a value to this button value will be get the color X a value get the color X a code so let me go back and let me refresh here I have this button so let me add another break line such that it looks good 
and here is that when I click on this button it has to give the respective colors exact code so what I'll do is I'll write a script tag and it has to display the result inside this do element so what I'll do is first I'm going to identify that element by ID get the element by ID of the input control which is ticking the color so here is that so let me add a ID to it my color okay I'm fetching the value of it let me store it in some variable res ult result fine and my objective is I want to display this result inside the div so what I'll do is uh, okay let me remove this so what I'm trying to tell you is on click of this button it has to fetch the value of the respective colors so what I'll do is I'll add uh, on click let me name the method as get detail or get a color okay this is my JavaScript function so let me define this JavaScript function first let me call a function attribute then this is the method so here I'm going to tell like okay get the color what the user has selected so what I'll do is uh, let me tell like document dot get element by ID okay it has to get the ID of this okay then get the value also okay get the value and let me store it in something called result result now I have to push that inside the do element so again I'll tell like where sample is equal to oh so let me tell like get element by ID and here it is not color it's div and dot inner HTML is equal to the result okay now so what I'll do is now let me go back here and let me refresh and the default color is this one now when I click on this you can observe the extra code of the black color is this ash 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 okay now what I'll do is let me push it down a little more uh, it's such that it looks good man control s go back and let me refresh now when I click on this you can observe the exact code of the particular color what we are getting is this one now if I select some other color like if I select blue when I click OK and now when I click on this gets exact code you can observe it is returning the exact code of the blue okay so my objective is just to tell you like how this input input type color uh, renders uh, it just gives you a panel of colors when you click on this it just gives you a panel you can select respective color and you can store it but when but but by the default color is black so what I do is I just wrote a few a bit a simple JavaScript function which fetch, which fetches the value uh, extra code value of this color and it just renders you so this is not necessary but if you have to understand only this one like how input type color works okay and now let's jump back here and this is what the input type color is and we have something called input type date so it's going to give us okay uh, the date input type provides the facility to get the required date value from the user the date type collects your month day without any time zones okay the default selected date would be empty so now without wasting much time let me remove the script tag and let me remove this div and this and this too and let me tell like select date and now the input type is date we do control s let me remove this let me go back and let me refresh it's selling like select your date so it's giving you month date and year and no time zone now when you click on this you can manually trigger the month okay and you can manually trigger the date 
or you can manually set the year also but apart from that we have a, something called calendar control when you click on this you can select the respective year or the month so it is Feb okay and uh, 2017 and the day is 18 okay this is what the day okay I'm going to select you can do it easily with the help of this calendar control or if you want to still go manually by clicking this upward and downward button you can do it this is what the input type date is going to return you okay this is what it, it's going to return it's not going to get you any time zone it's just going to give you uh, it's going to ask you to set the time uh, sorry date date year and the month okay so this is what the input type date is and we have something called input type date time so the date time input tag provides uh, the facility to get the required date and time value from the user the date time collects your month date day and hours minutes seconds fractions with the time zone set to UVC default the selected date time would be empty so now let us learn like what it's going to give now when I set it to into date and time okay when I do this now we are not going to get anything you can observe here it's pretty empty so we can manually set it like today's date is 02 and it is 18 slash 207 and you can set the time zone to 10 colon 06 and it's 52 seconds and now what I'll do is I'll set it as a value to this input type so when I set it a value I hope this comes in the input box when I refresh okay but manually uh, but when we call it for the first time the input type date time it's going to give us empty so this is what the input type date time is and apart from that we have something called input type date time local so the date time local input tag provides the facility to get the required date and time value from the user the date time local type collects your month days hours minutes keep in mind the date time it only gives you the date month date to set but not the time zone but date time local is going to give us both the year month date as well as the time zone too so let me go back and let me show you that also so what I'll do is this is input time okay let, let me set it as date and let me remove this value now I want my objective is just to show you the difference between just to show you the difference between uh, select date time local it is date time local we do control s let me go back and let me refresh so when you set like input time only the date it's going to return us it's going to return us only the date control you can observe your month date and year but when you set the input type to date time local it is asking us to set the date okay and also the time zone okay now let me do it for the input type date it's very simple we are going to set this and this one and the date is set but this it's pretty simple so it's 18 fine I've said that but time I have to set it manually like 10 it's 08 and it's 56 seconds or it's p.m. sorry it's p.m. or a.m. it's a.m. fine I hope you understood the difference between input type date and daytime local so let me do it for the other one such that will clear the things very clear without any doubt so find its input time date date time it's only date time so what it's going to return it's going to return just the empty box okay we have to manually pass the value to it okay and this is what about uh, date date time date time local and apart from that we have something called time so the in time input tag provides the facility to get the required time value from the user the time type collects hours minutes seconds fractions without any time zone default selected time would be empty so what I'll do is let me remove this so we'll tell like uh, set the time so the time right now is input it is time controllers let me go back and let me refresh you're getting like set a time it's only giving us the time control so you can set it in it's 10 08 and let me check out like whether what it is going to take it's going to take am or pm it's going to take am or pm so it's am let me set it so input type 
time it's going to just return us the time control where we can set the time manually okay or if not you can pass it as a value such that the default it's going to take 8 okay now let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe okay we can't set the value because it is going to give us the control where we can ma we, we can set the time by our wish so this is what this is going to return the am or pm and this we have to set it the hours and this you have to set it the minutes okay this is what about the time control is and apart from that uh, we have input type number the month input tag provides the facility to get the required number from the user the number type collects numerical value okay and by default the browser will display a select month with just positive negative number zero so this is what the input type number is going to give us so it's week and month so now let us learn about input type number input type it's number so it is number so apart from that what I'm, we are going to do is so what we are going to set is input type uh, select number and it is set month so I'm going to tell this input type is month and it is set week it is week and we can specify the input type week also so when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh here it's asking us to select the number we can set manually set the number like just using a keyboard or you can trigger this buttons upward and downward button which increases and decreases manually and set month so what is this going to return it's going to return the month okay in the characters okay and apart from that what it is going to return is it's going to return you the second the second uh, type it's going to return you the year or manually you can set it here just by uh, selecting the year okay and you can observe now what I'll do is uh, using these controls you can navigate to the next month or the year then when I click on this center button it's going to it's going to set the value this control okay this is what about the set month is and set week so uh, okay set week it's going to return this control sir you can observe here we have a week word as well as we have uh, the weeks in the number format or oh, it's 53rd week or it's a second week third week and this is the year okay and you can cancel it if you don't want we have a cancel button there inside that this is what or you can use the calendar control okay you can observe here we have the week set so it's fifth week 2017 okay and apart from that we have scroll like this okay we'll get the respective weeks and this is what about the input type number time week and month so finally what we learned in this session is we learned okay uh, around okay uh, eight input types of the form element they are color date date time day time local time number week and month these are the new input types which are present in HTML5 for the form element so in the next session we are going to learn about the rest file that is input type search telephone URL email and range okay I hope this session helped you and this is very simple and so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Lang Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page with this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference of our website we are on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day